Hi, this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Atelier de Monaco Tourbillon Oculus 1297. Now, Atelier de Monaco is probably a brand that many of you haven't heard of, and that's because they're fairly they're a fairly recent uh, developed brand and they were developed around 2008 by the head watchmaker at Frederic Constant and their CEO. So again they're super super recent and big newcomers. However they kind of hit the ground running with many very complicated watches. They're all in-house um, so it's not like Frederic Constant where they source some ETA movements and other things like that. Uh, everything's very very high-end and very expensive. This watch for example uh, has a retail price of $61,100. So it is definitely not in the same price bracket as Frederic Constant. And I mean, there is due justification for that. I mean, it, 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 the finishing is absolutely spectacular. Now, this watch has a, th there's many other configurations of this watch with different metals that I would argue are much more appropriate with the caliber of movement. I think that this watch has a, a DLC titanium. Um, uh, sorry, DLC coated titanium case, and I think just having that black case within the the normal um, sort of silver colored tourbillon and overall silver colored movement is kind of silly looking. Usually, when you see a blacked out watch like this, everything is blacked out, so the metal has a black finish on it, and it looks um, a little bit more sporty than this. And I know this watch is definitely very sporty. It is extremely light. I can't convey that enough. But I think it's kind of silly to have. Uh, a completely blacked out case, blacked out dial, and then have like a normal sort of dressy movement. I just think it's kind of weird. Um, so moving on to that movement, uh, it's got a 42 hour power reserve, which is fair given that it is a tourbillon and only a single barrel. However, on many other tourbillon watches, they have double barrels that dramatically increase the power reserve. Um, but overall, the finishing on the movement is spectacular. You see that rotor with the Royal Seal of Monaco, and kind of getting back into that theme. The only reason that they chose Monaco basically as the inspiration for their watches is because there's a lot of fancy things in Monaco, to put it simply. I don't mean to be too harsh, but they basically said that in their advertising material, and I thought that that was kind of funny. I mean, it's fair. Some brands try to uh, make up fake heritage for their watches, and they pretty much just read, came out and say, said that... Um, that is why they uh, did this. However, I very much like the finishing on this watch. I'd be much happier uh, reviewing the uh, rose gold version as I think that that would be a far more appropriate case uh, metal for the grade of movement in this watch. I mean, that movement is beautifully finished. Um, and of course it has the, the tourbillon, it is a minute tourbillon, so you can see there's that little hand right here that allows you to actually track a minute as you go in, in uh, running time, so that's a very convenient feature and it's very cool. I mean, having a tourbillon that rotates very fast is sort of entertaining to watch and I'd argue much more impressive. So the 44 millimeter case size on this watch is rather large. However, given the sporty design and the fact that it has a tourbillon, it's not actually that bad. I'd say it wears definitely more like a 46 or something like that. But again, I'll forgive them. Usually watches that have complications such as this tend to be much larger than others and that's completely appropriate. I get it. They've earned it by putting this great of a complication in the watch. Um, so here it is on the wrist. It's very comfortable. The, the strap is extremely comfortable. The clasp is very easy to put on. Uh, the clasp as well is DLC coated titanium. And if you get other um, case material options, the clasp matches that. So um, uh, keep that in mind. Also, one other thing to keep in mind, all of their watches are limited to a very few number of pieces. So this watch in this configuration is limited to only 88 watches. And if you get another case model, those are also 88 and then some of the less expensive models are actually limited to only 18 models and I think that that is very very cool and you're definitely not going to see anyone else with this watch. This watch actually reminds me a lot of the Jacquet Draws uh, just their watches where it has the small sub dial on the top. Um, it's not a regular, regulator dial but it kind of looks like it. Um, and I think that the design is very cool. It gives it kind of a dressy flair. However, again, I prefer a different a different case material. I think that that would be nicer. Um, so all in all, this watch is extremely high quality. I really like how it um, feels. However, I think a better uh, case 
a case material, uh, a different case material would be a little bit better. Definitely check those out. They look extremely cool. I really like the rose gold version. I think it gives it a completely different feel. And then also I'll be reviewing some of their other models, such as this beautiful flyback chronograph. Uh, and this is in that rose gold that I was talking about, and it looks absolutely insane. So I'll leave a link to the, in the description to this uh, review also, and I will be filming that actually right now. However, if you're watching this the day that I published it, it'll probably be in the day uh, following that I will publish the review of this watch. So if you like this video, please remember to subscribe and share. And remember, we're at JB Hudson Jewelers in Minneapolis, Minnesota, filming this review. They're an authorized retailer of Atelier de Monaco. Uh, so definitely, if you're, in, if you're interested in purchasing one or sourcing one, uh, I would definitely get in contact with them. Thank you.